Good morning, Bearcats. I'm Cable. And I'm Shamumu. Today is Friday, February 16th, and this is Bearcat News. Today's lunch will be refried beans, sweet potato puffs, tossed salad with a choice of entree being beefy burrito, fiesta chicken boat, and PB&J pack or chef salad. Baseball tryouts will begin next Monday after school for any boy interested in playing, so be prepared to go outside of the field or indoors up at the facility. All participants must have a VHSL physical form on file to participate. And if you have any questions about that, see Coach Moore. Girls soccer trials will be held on Monday, February 19th at Sugar Hollow Park from 415 to 545. Those trying out should again bring soccer cleats, shin guards, and must have an up-to-date VHSL physical on file. Boys soccer tryouts will begin uh, February 21st, 2024 for any boy interested in playing varsity soccer. You will need cleats, running shoes, shin guards, and floating of water. Go figure. All participants must have a VHSL physical on file to try out, and if you have any further questions, please contact Coach Wright at kwright1 at bbps.org. Are you in need of volunteer hours? Interact Club has multiple opportunities for students to earn those. Students can volunteer to wrap books for elementary students in our area. They can volunteer at the Bristol Virginia Little League umpiring, assisting in concessions, volunteering at Children's Inc. to help children with homework and organizing activities and games. Students can also volunteer with the upcoming prom dress sale at the YWCA where they have an opportunity to earn a free prom dress. They can volunteer at a local healthcare facility to visit with elderly patients and assist the nurse or social worker or even volunteer with clerical work at abuse alternatives. Please see Ms. Cox if you are interested in any of these opportunities. OSA wants all VHS Bearcats to have healthy hearts. The leading risk factors for heart disease and stroke are high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, smoking and secondhand exposure to smoking, obesity, unhealthy diet, and physical inactivity. So eat healthier and move more. Did you know February 29th is the rarest day of this year? World Rare Disease Day is February 29th. Hosa is encouraging everyone to wear stripes or zebra print on February 29th because stripes and zebra print are used to represent rare diseases. Breaking news, everybody. Your Bearcat Varsity Boys Basketball team will host Marion in the Southwest District semifinals today at 7.30. Graham and Richlands will play at 6, and admission is $8. And with this being a district tournament event, VHS student IDs nor BVPS badges are valid for admission. Your Bearcat Varsity Girls Basketball team will be hosting Richlands in the Southwest District semifinals today at 7.30. Marion and Graham will be playing at 6 p.m., and admission is $8. With this being a district tournament event, VHS students' IDs nor BVPS badge are valid for admission. Go figure. Both Bearcat teams will play tomorrow as VHS will host the Southwest District Consolation and Championship Games. Girls' Consolation will start at 3 with the Boys' Consolation starting at 4.30. The Girls' Championship will start at 6 and the Boys' Championship will start at 7.30. Admission will again be $8 and again we can't accept VHS student IDs or BVPS BVPS badges. Sorry. Also, the Bearcat Swim and Dive teams are competing in the Class 2 State Championships in Richmond Swimming today. Also, our Bearcat Indoor Track teams will be at Roanoke College for the Regional Championships and to our wrestlers competing in the State Tournament today and Saturday. And then tomorrow, the Pride of the State Line Winter Guard will be competing in Roanoke. Good luck to all participants and go Bearcats! Off-season workouts have begun for any athlete who is wanting to work on getting stronger slash faster. The weight room will be open for every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday before school at 7.30, 9.34 under the way, and after school until 5.15. You must have a VHSL physical on file with the school before you can begin. If you have any questions, please see Coach Davenport or Coach Patterson. Once again, it's open to all athletes. Go. Seniors, don't forget to buy a senior ad in this year's yearbook. Prices are $275 for a full page, $175 for half a page, 125 for a quarter of a page, and 65 for an eighth of a page. If you'd like to share any pictures you take throughout the school year to be possibly selected to be used in the yearbook, go to hjeshare.com and type in VHS Bearcats to select Virginia High School. You may see your picture in the 2023-2024 yearbook. Well, let's go to a segment about Black History Month. You know that the black community Eugene. We, the Black Student Union of the University of Oregon. I want black kids to have some pride, some love. Black History Month was created in 1926 by Carter G. Woodson in an effort to demonstrate that black people had something to contribute to American culture and then in turn, black people would gain their civil rights. We could spend time during Black History Month celebrating these kind of historic figures like Martin Luther King or Rosa Parks or Malcolm X, Ida B. Wells, W.E.B. Du Bois, but I like to take this moment to celebrate those slave ancestors who really created something out of nothing. 
these like unsung heroes, if you will, like the everyday people who helped build the foundation of African-American culture in the United States. Whether it be like, you know, the African-American rappers like Kanye or, you know, black Canadians and the, and the Bayesians who sing work, 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 or the Trinis who sing uh, Anaconda, they all bear the legacy of the slave trade and the slave cultures that, you know, existed here throughout, you know, the new world. I would say we continue to need Black History Month to kind of flesh out the histories and experiences and, and show the cultural contributions of you know, Africans in America. That's your Bearcat News for Friday. We hope you all have a successful day.